Well, I'd like to thank all of you for coming, and I'm really glad they've got that front door coming in, cause, or the wind coming in, because it's sure a lot cooler. They all really look nice. My goal tonight is to get through this before I cry. <laughs> and then when it's all over, then I can start bawling, okay? Then you guys can come up and give me hugs. Um, I've asked Roger Toon, Amber's father, if he would give us a word of prayer. And then we'll get started. <coughs> Father, we're thankful to be able to meet here this evening. We're grateful for the talents that these young people have, and for the chance that we will have as a group to listen to them perform. And we pray that that will bless each of them according to the diligence that they prepared, help them to be calm and not be nervous. We're especially thankful for Judy and for the much time that she has devoted to these kids and indirectly to all of us. Please bless her and her family. And we just thank you for the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> I want each one of you to announce your faces and your names and tell us all how old you are, okay? Where's Brian? Before we get started, I have to tell you, Cordell Bryan's only had four lessons, and then I dropped the bomb on him. So anyway, he didn't quite have enough time to get his notes learned, let alone his pieces learned, so that's why some of us are getting to use our music tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm
and one of them this time is Eric. He's also one of my piano students, but he's very, very talented. All his family is, and he's going to treat us with the violin solo first. Thank you. 
My name is Christy Peterson, I'm seven years old, and I'm going to play Contention.
name is Julie Peterson, and I'm 10 years old, and I'm going to play a concerto in D minor by John Thompson for the first part. I have a matter of explanation. This piece is so beautiful and so long that we cut it in half. And Julie's doing the first half of the piece, and Shane's doing the second half. By the way, Shane is playing most of the concerto, both the parts. There's a, uh, not like a duet, there's not a primo part, a secondo part. <coughs> he is the solo part and I'm the accompanist, and he's playing most of the piece.
everybody happy since we can't do a banana split party. Now, I had two winners in the banana split party and a runner-up. And I decided I wasn't going to draw straws for the banana split, or for the winners. So I'm just going to announce them both. One is Mandy Facer. One up. She counted absolutely everything. And the other one is Natalie. Both of them won our counting contest. Give them a big hand. she missed. So she's our second runner-up. Now, here's what happens to the winners. I've got little certificates that I'm going to give all of you, and I'm going to um, tell you what's on them, and then I want you to come up and get them. And the winners get to have one of those busts of the composers over there, and you get to pick three things out of the treasure box, which is all over there, okay? So you get one bust of the composer and three things out of the treasure box. You get two things, okay? And the rest of you get one of the bust and one pick out of the treasure box, okay? Cool. Is that as good as a banana split party? Yeah. 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 I think so. Okay, go sit down and I'll give you your certificate. Each one of these little music awards um, has something different on it, and I was trying to think of something unique and different about each one of the students. And
And so you'll kind of know when I give them their award. Mandy won the best practicer and got the most fours and fives out of all the kids. So Mandy, come on, get your certificate and your stuff out of there. Put that off. Give her a big hand. The busts of the composers are in boxes, except the first ones on the row. So take the ones in the boxes, and then you kids can take the ones that um, are left. Natalie was the most improved. <laughs> you know, there was very much hope for her when she first came. I'll tell you, she's a mighty fine little student. Shane Spackman is the most advanced. She has the most stability. At the age of nine, she can just about play anything. She's a mighty fine little student. Steve Watts. What did you think I said about you? He was the most fun to teach. <laughs> church things, and you did a great job on all of them. She was the most willing to practice. Sometimes it was awful hard for her, but she practiced really hard, didn't she? And Eric Lynn is the best seven-year-old concerto pianist I've ever seen. <laughs> My best theory class participant. He always raised his hand and corrected me whenever I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs>
have a certificate too. I think this concludes. I actually made it to the end without bawling. Not quite. Oh, well, don't you do this to me. <laughs> I, I brought my Kleenex. <laughs> Two pieces, so I have to be real careful. Okay. Well, I will definitely remember everybody by this. Isn't that delicate and beautiful? I appreciate that. I forgot to thank two other people. One was Mandy's father for doing the video for us tonight. I appreciate that a lot. And I wanted to introduce all of you to Virginia um, Burgess. Most of you will be going to Virginia. Do you want to stand, Virginia? In case any of you don't know who she is, you can introduce yourself as your, your new student to her. And I really do appreciate everybody and all the things they did for me and all the practicing and the, everything you did. It was just great and grand. I'm really glad that you had such a good time tonight. And I'm really not glad it's over. So go help yourself with the punch and cookies and everybody who goes home without giving me a squeeze and a hug, I take the best of the composers back. <laughs> Make sure you all got it, though.